friends, welcome back to Animix Kids channel. Today I'm really, really, really happy because uh, I got a golden badge and I will show you the picture of it, okay? Let's see it, okay? It's a golden badge, super duper golden badge. I love it. I love it. I love the golden badge. I'll show you. The I hope you saw the picture this I get thing, whatever, okay? So today I'll be telling the story. Today I'll be sharing a uh, part three of the story with you guys okay uh, it's called the princess and the pea okay so let's get started okay so the princess and the pea wait wait before that in the previous video i actually told i made a feather pen feather pen right so i'll be showing that how to make that feather pen at the end of the video okay so let's get started with the story okay let's come on come on pass 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 okay so the princess and the pea will start. So they're like once upon a time they lived a like I read the book and I'm telling I'm sharing the story with you, okay? So there were once there was a prince uh, and a queen. Like this prince wanted uh, to have a real princess, okay, with a real heart. Like real princess with a real heart means like um a real heart like uh you know how like uh, caring for their caring for her pe people and doing whatever they need and whatever like whatever things they need and all that's called a real hearted princess okay so this prince wanted a real kind of princess very badly but he went all of the castles all of the princess castles okay whatever but most of you people like princess especially girls like princess right princess dolls okay but mostly boys like spider-man and stuff yeah, superheroes but in this only prince princess and a queen is included only three characters okay so the um, the prince when he went all over the world searching for a real princess but none of them were worthy for a real heart of the truth like, they didn't have a real heart okay and a good mind so the uh, so then this uh uh, he came back to his palace like the queen and the prince came back to his uh, like the palace and he was thinking about a pr having a princess really badly like badly really wanted a good beautiful really kind hearted princess but he couldn't find one so the next day it was really stormy night it was so creepy like there was thunder lightning okay the, uh, uh, there was a heavy rainfall so in the uh, well, uh, while the king like the prince and the queen were eating like uh, having the dinner okay they just they were discussing about the storm what is happening outside okay during the storm like uh, there was a creepy night there was a lady uh, there was a lady who was coming like coming nearby to the like, she was uh, coming towards the castle she was knocking on the uh, door castle door and when the guards opened the door now uh, like they saw her wet like so wet uh, her from her hair also the water, water was coming falling down from her clothes over but okay so the the lady told i am a princess and i need a shelter she told to herself like that okay but no one believed so she even tried to convince the prince and the queen that she was a real princess so for knowing that this queen what she did is okay uh, she told her maid she went to the guest room and she told her maids to put 20 beds like 20 mattress okay instead of uh, putting bed sheets 20 mattress uh, and when they were done with 20 mattress like they get the 20 mattresses so then this um this queen yeah, this uh, this queen she kept in p okay that's sorry this side she kept uh, she took a uh, what a p a small p and kept it under the bed okay and she called out for the princess and um, the queen told her like you have to sleep comfortably okay feel it like a home okay feel it like your own home okay the queen told okay and she also told that if you need any help just uh, call me okay i'll be there she told like that uh, then this princess told okay thanks and she slept uh, but she couldn't even sleep because of, uh, there was uh, something like hard thing feeling on her back okay when something is kept in this bed we feel something irritating right within one only with one bed but this lady she could this princess she could feel it with 20 bed okay 
then she couldn't uh, close her eyes for a second also then the next morning the queen asked did you sleep comfortably my dear then this uh, princess told her no i couldn't there was something like hard uh, on the inside the bed like i was sleeping on a stone it was like i was sleeping on a stone the princess told then the queen found out that she's a real hearted princess and this prince, um, he got married to that princess. They lived happily ever after. And they didn't have any trouble. So that's why the title is called The Princess and the Peace. Okay? So now let's head towards how to make the feather pen. Okay? Let's start. So guys, I'm back with my supplies. Okay? I'll tell you what all I needed. Okay? So here it is. First, you will be needing a tape. If you have like this tape also, a dispenser also, it's okay. Just, you just need a tape, a pencil, uh, like for drawing the shape of the feather, then a scissors, obviously a scissors. Then a pen, but we won't be needing this outer cover. We will be needing this ink. Oh, it's almost finished. I have a black one, a blue one, and a red one. The black and the like the, the, the red and the, I never know green. The red and the green I made it yesterday. And the black and the blue I made it already. But I want to make another one because I want to show you how to make it. Okay? You can take any pen tube, okay? So and you will be needing any of the color paper or any white paper, any plain white paper. Okay? Only one is enough. So what you have to do is fold it, see, like this. Fold it into two sides. Okay, two sides, then again fold it like this, okay, then you will get two feathers, show you how to draw it, from this point, to this point, wait, I'll show you, from here, yeah, it should be not like a heart, it's just from here, to here, I'll show you. See, then it's from here to here. Okay, look at it carefully. So, once you have done that, okay, take your scissors over here. And that's not the scissors, this is scissors. Yeah, take the scissors, just cut that shape out. the shape will be different one time i took two papers one shape was like this much small and the other one was like this much big <laughs> oh my gosh so that's better to do with one paper okay it's two identical shapes then what you need to do is take the re now we don't need this pen too. take the refill out of this out of pen okay take the refill then Stick it like this in the pen. Just stick it like this. It should be correct in the middle. Okay, it should be a bit more. Yeah. This much is only enough. Okay, now we'll stick it with tape. I'll show you how to do it. Just take this much of tape. Yeah. This much is probably enough. Just take it. Oh, don't go away. And just stick it like this to the Wait. So I just stick it like this. Ooh, come on, you're sticking in my pen. Not in the pen. Okay, like this. It should be in the correct middle, okay? Come on, come on. Okay. Middle, like this. In the correct middle. And you take your um feather paper over here or a leaf paper. You just stick it. Yeah, I'll just cut a bit because that's more. You can just cut a bit, okay? Then if it is more, then it's more. Now we'll take this, okay? Like this, you will stick it like this. Hmm? Okay, no need 
if you use any glue or whatever it is. Just stick it like this. Think? Press it, press it, press it. Press it down. Then if it's not sticking like over here, just use the one. That should work. Okay, see, it will be like this. Once, if you are done doing this, okay, and you will get the result like this. Once you are done doing that, take the second part of the feather and the leaf, okay, just attach it, okay. You don't need to take any glue with the tape itself, okay, just attach it. So, I'll show you how to do it with the tape. You take a Small inchy inchy, not small like a little bit of piece. Then what you do is take this part and this part, see, and fold it like this, and you'll get this one. And just stick it in the middle. Okay, just stick with glue. Like whenever you want to take the pen out, and it will be really bad. Okay, like that you have to make four. Okay, I'm gonna make four. Wait. So guys, I'm done with it. Okay, see, one, two, two, yeah, three, and four. Okay, I need to take a little bit. I need to take a little Okay, now you take like that. Yeah, now we take this with the pen. Okay, now it's going to be a feather, and you just stick it like this. It should be curved. Okay, no, it cannot go wrong. Okay, just stick it like this. Voila! Here is our result. Just shake it a bit. And, and then. Okay. And if there are lines like over here, just wrap it up. Because that's why I took a pencil, not a pen. Okay. So, that's what you needed to do. If it is not sticking in the back side, just put one more tape. See? Boop, boop. And there you go. There you go. Right. So, see? So, what you have to do is next, see, once you're cutting this direction, do not do it like this and do it because if this side it will be like this and this side it will be like this, okay? So, you have to cut it in both sides, correct? So I'll show you. Cut it. So guys, first you should look the uh, picture of the feather, then do it. Okay, I'm looking at the picture and then do it. This is what you get. And one. So you have to cut it like this because that's how I mean. Right? So cut it. But this is actually called as a quill, like it's used in the ancient times. They used to write it with bird feathers and all. But some people still have this place. Okay. See, it's almost like a real feather. So this part is clear and don't tilt it like this. Okay? Instead, just turn it like this. Like this, do it like this. And then you cut it. Some itsy bitsy papers will go. Cut the fall. That don't worry about that.
start to mix my food. So guys, ready to see the result? Wait. So guys, this is the result. Uh, it's a natural, like not really natural, not really natural palatine, but it's really a full. It's kind of good. So uh, if you want to test it, just take this piece of paper. We took it away. Let's show the shape. Oh, the shape is like. Ooh la 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 la. Okay, I'll write something. What should I write? Okay, I'll write my YouTube channel. Okay. So if one of you open um when you're when you're holding this, this clip and you have to hold it and tip, okay? So oh, I'll write my name. Lined paper. Okay, I'll just show you. Okay, what is like it? This works in a lined paper. Okay, wait. So guys, I'm going to use my old rough book because um there is still more pages left. Still more pages are left. So why do we need to paste it? Because this is Okay. So I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write. So, it is a check. It works, and it's really handy. And I really have a flop. So, guys, if you like this, just pet the pen and yeah, just pet the pen, okay? And the story. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button, okay? So, bye. Bye for the next video. Bye bye. See you, guys. And I'll come. I'll be coming with more craft ideas.